Both my grandfathers were local musicians. On my mom's side, my grandfather was a blues legend. Uh, my other grandfather was a uh, mariachi violinist. Um, and of course, you know, my dad. Just being exposed to so much music at such a young age, I guess just music more or less found me rather than me finding music. who we are you know some people are in a born born into a family to make bread or to make this or to do that or be lawyers or whatever or doctors for us it's resonance sound vibration the whole thing is just if you get into your system your 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 your, your muscles will memorize it when we get there we won't go uh oh what the hell do we do now sure. you know what i mean you, you know exactly what it sure. is First time I saw him in this room playing piano with Thelonious Monk, they were, I mean, they were weaving in and, in and out of each other's zone. Uh, he must have been like six, seven years old. I knew right there and then, you know, that he understood the language of music like a fish understands water, like a bird understands the air. I've been told numerous times that you're following the footsteps of your father. You have some huge shoes to fill. My dad wears a size 8. I wear a size 15. Who has the bigger shoes to fill? At 21, Salvador Santana is taking up the family business in earnest with the launch of his own band. The group made their professional debut during the summer of 2004, opening for Carlos's European tour. The largest venue we played was in Naples. Um, we played in front of 140,000 people. And it was just inspiring yet almost intimidating to look at just nothing but a sea of people. That was different for me. My music, I think, if I had to pick a genre, almost if I was like describing a, uh, a recipe to you, it'd be like some world music with a splash of hip hop, a little bit of jazz, and throw in a little bit of Latin. On tour, I remember one uh, gentleman coming up to me and saying, you know what, you remind your, you and your music remind me exactly of how your father was, except I think you're doing what your dad would be doing if he was growing up in this day and age. At first, I didn't really know how to take that. And I thought about that and I said, wow, that's probably one of the nicest things somebody could say to me, at least musically. Tonight, the Santanas are in Los Angeles for the star-studded release of Deborah Santana's book entitled The Space Between the Stars. The book is a tell-all memoir that, among other things, lays bare some of the family's struggles together over the course of Carlos's roller coaster career. I was afraid when Carlos came up to introduce me that he was going to scoop me because I have the true story of how we met in my memoir. <laughs> but he has a different version. Since the 1960s, the name Santana has been synonymous with rock and roll. The name also belongs to another very gifted musician, Salvador Santana. Friends, please welcome a legend we all know and one in the making. There is nothing more sacred and special than family. Debra is a great architect of keeping a family together. For us, family is not show business or entertainment or it's not even a profession. You know, for us, family is as natural as drinking water. I'm here to support my family and my mom's book and everything, so 
that's just what I'm. That's that's why I'm here, you know. And, and as long as they're happy, I'm happy too. After reading it, I realized that she is the space between the stars. She helps uh, other people shine. Salvador will soon join his dad's band on their upcoming tour of Latin America. Today, they are rehearsing at their studio in San Rafael. Becoming a part of my dad's band has been something that my dad has been interested in more than I have been interested in because my dad wanted a little bit more, as he put it, muscle in his group. Play one of your songs. My songs? There's no doubt that the Santana name gives Salvador an edge in the hyper-competitive music industry. But he still has to prove he can sell CDs and tickets on the strength of his own talent. His first big hurdle is producing a five-song demo CD that he hopes will create some buzz. I need to get my music out uh, publicly, and the best way to do that, other than touring, is through a CD and being in the studio. Well, it's just wonderful to watch him unfold and be uh, at peace and with confidence within his own music uh, and stand alone with his own convictions and his own passion. I found my own voice and I found what I really want to do and I found uh, I think a certain style of music that I can relate to, which is kind of a combination of everything. With just days to go before leaving on his Latin American tour, Salvador spent a few days at his cabin on Mount Tamalpais. Where my journey is eventually going to take me, whether it be on stage, or whether it be in the studio, whether it be on the street, whether it be on a rooftop, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm making music, that's just where I need to be.